and welcome to Michelle's World. Strawberry shortcake. I just love strawberry shortcake. The first time I ever had strawberry shortcake was at the Plaza Hotel in New York City at around four o'clock in the afternoon with all the lovely ladies all dressed in their wonderful clothing, sipping on tea and having strawberry shortcake. And ever since then, I've always loved it. So now I've learned how to prepare it and I've made it several times and now I'd like to share it with you. So come to my kitchen and I'll show you how to make a lovely strawberry shortcake. It's strawberry season. Butter a nine inch or 23 centimeter cake pan. Cut parchment paper in the circumference of the bottom of the pan. Cover the side of the cake pan with parchment paper as well. Mix one cup or 120 grams of self-rising flour with a half a teaspoon of baking powder and three tablespoons of cornstarch. Mix the ingredients well and sift. In a mixing bowl, add five room temperature eggs, one teaspoon pure vanilla extract. Add three quarters of a cup or 150 grams of castor sugar. Now whip the living daylights out of the eggs and castor sugar and vanilla. Don't stop until the mixture turns into a very light creamy color. Now that's what I'm talking about. This is the right color and the right consistency. Now add one third of a cup or 80 grams of whole milk or cream. Also add two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Now mix the batter until all the ingredients are well combined. Mix about 20 to 30 times until it's nice and smooth and has a nice sheen to it. Through a sifter, add half of the amount of the flour, the cornstarch, and the baking powder, and mix. Mix until nice and smooth. Pass the rest of the flour mixture through the sifter. So basically, we have sifted the flour twice. Now mix again until nice and smooth. It takes about 50 times. Strawberry shortcake is very popular in Asia, namely Japan and Singapore. Now the batter can be poured into the cake pan. Drop the cake pan several times onto the work surface so that any bubbles will be released from the batter. In a preheated oven, bake at 170 Celsius or 340 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. My cake took 45 minutes to bake and as you can see in the center, I did put in a toothpick and it came out clean. Now drop the cake several times so that it won't cave in. Turn over the cake onto a parchment paper and allow it to cool down completely in the baking pan. This is Verdi Strawberry Sparkle Teeny with which I'm going to dab my cake layers. Add a tablespoon of sugar to a half a cup of Sparkle Teeny. Mix until the Sparkle Teeny becomes flat and set aside. Choose eight of the loveliest strawberries that you can find. Cut off the green part of the strawberry and leave eight of them whole. I was lucky because in the batch of strawberries that I had purchased, there were jewel June bearing strawberries, which are large, and I was able to cut a lot of slices from each strawberry. You'll need at least 25 slices.
Once the cake is at room temperature, remove it from the cake pan and remove the parchment paper. Using a knife that's long enough to cut the cake, cut a marking all around the cake in order to cut the cake in half. Now cut the cake in half along the marking that you created. This is not nearly as difficult as it may look. Place the bottom layer on a rotating cake stand. It's a good investment if you plan on decorating cakes. In a chilled mixing bowl, add two cups or 400 milliliters of cold whipping cream. Add a half a cup or 100 grams of vanilla flavored sugar. If you can't find vanilla sugar, then use regular sugar and add a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Whip until you get soft peaks. Like this. Now dab the bottom layer of the cake with strawberry sparkle teeny. Slab on some whipped cream and spread evenly. Don't worry about it too much if it's not perfect. We're not Rembrandt and we're not pastry chefs. We're just doing the very best that we can. Now add a layer of strawberries from the ones that you cut. I needed 25 of them. Now coat the strawberries with another layer of whipped cream. Dab strawberry sparkle teeny on the second layer. Turn it over on top of the strawberries and cream. Add sparkle teeny on the top of the cake. By the way, if you can't find sparkle teeny, then you can use strawberry wine, cherry wine, or kirsch and add sugar to it like I did. And cover the entire cake with whipped cream. Again, don't worry about it if it's not perfect. It really doesn't have to be. It'll look great by the end.
use a decorating piping bag and add a star-shaped tip. This is very easy, trust me. Fill the piping bag with the leftover whipped cream. Squeeze out a tiny amount into the bowl. Time to decorate. You don't have to do this exactly the way I'm doing it. You can do it any way you like. I'm making little waves. Now I'm squeezing out whipping cream in the size of a small strawberry. Now I'm resting the strawberries on top. Remember when I had cut the rounded ends of the strawberries? Well, those are the ones I'm keeping in order to decorate the cake. Final step is to sprinkle icing sugar on top of the strawberries. Now all you have to do is refrigerate the cake for at least two hours before serving. Let's transfer the cake onto a serving plate. Here's a piece just for you. I honestly wish I could serve it to you. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to dig in. Mm. I can't even begin to describe how incredibly delicious this is. Try it, you won't regret it, trust me. It's gorgeous. Thank you for watching how to prepare a strawberry shortcake. And if you'd like to see how to prepare coconut pineapple cake, please click right here and please subscribe. Thank you very much, have a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.